Yuri destroys Ishin Ice and the Joe Budden Network by revealing that he was paid $40,000 per month? That's right, on a recent Patreon episode of the new Rory and Maul podcast, I think Rory created some serious complications for Joe Budden, as he revealed he was getting paid $40,000 monthly by Joe Budden? Now, this comes on the heels of Joe Budden trying to take control of the narrative of the breakup with Rory and Maul on the Need to Know podcast. In that episode, he basically just laid out why he thought the thing was a mutiny. That whole story, let me not repeat it again. But things heated up when Rory and Maul went on their Patreon and addressed his sit down with Savon and Alex on the Need to Know podcast. But they didn't really respond to Joe as much as they did respond to Savon and Alex. However, the point that I'm making in this video is that when Rory and Maul decided to reveal that they were making $40,000 a month and all of this stuff, I think that information could hurt the Joe Budden podcast, as I severely doubt that Ish and Ice get paid that much, and they record more content. So what does this mean for everybody on the network? Do you think Ish and Ice heard them and be like, yo, dog, oh my God. You mean to tell me that Rory was making $40,000 a month? And what about Queen's Flip? You know how he gets down with the pocket watching. And like I said, I'm not mad about pocket watching. Hell, I think most people engage in that type of behavior. Now, this isn't the first time Rory has tried to throw some shots that kind of hit the Joe Budden network where it hurts. Remember during the response after episode 437, where Rory said that Joe told him that Ish and Ice combined are only worth half of Rory or Maul. Also said that he could get a, he'd get both them uh, for the price of half of one of us. Of course he can. He's, no, he said that to me though. So I don't know. I wonder if Rory did this strategically or if, you know, it's just something he wanted to say to prove to the rest of the cast, Alex, Savon, Parks, Erickson, to prove that, you know, he was down to make things right with them because they were feeling overworked and underpaid. Now, as for Joe Budden, how will he respond to this on the next podcast? I don't know, guys. I'm assuming he's going to pop the trunk on Rory and Maul and start to get real personal. I can only imagine the type of stories he's going to start telling. He's probably going to be like, yo, you know, Rory tried to DM me the other day. He wanted to go see Snow Allegra privately. And, you know, he wanted to have some chicken wings with me with the buffalo sauce and the Hennessy wings, you know, like that Dallas BBQ style. But we'll see. I, I mean, I, this thing is getting ugly in ways that I didn't imagine. And it could have ramifications for negotiations on the current version of the Joe Budden podcast with Melissa Ford, Flip, Parks, and Ish, and Ice. Oh, I wonder why I forgot Ice. Nonetheless, let me know what you think in the comments. Were you shocked to find out that Rory said he was paid 40000 for the month? And do you think they had any reason to be upset considering they were paid that much? I have to say, a lot of people say, oh, man, they were getting paid that much for content. Content is much. It's so easy. It's harder to work a regular job. While I do agree making $40,000 a month is a good amount of money, do y'all realize that content isn't really that easy? You have to produce. You have to think about what you're going to say. You have to say the same thing different ways. You have to disagree for no reason at all. And from Rory and Moss' perspective, you had to work with Joe Budden. Now, I'm not saying Joe Budden's an evil person, but... I don't think he's the most pleasant to work with when it comes to creating content. He's very particular. All the greats are. That's Wendy Williams. That's Star. That's Howard Stern. You know, they're not the easiest people to get along with. That's something you got to think about when you say that, you know, oh, I could do content. If I'd rather do content. But could you do it in an interesting way? Could you make people feel like, you know, they're listening to you in the room? Those are things you got to factor in. All right, y'all, that's my video for today, but stay locked in. I got more content coming, and I can't wait till the next episode of the Joe Budden Podcast. I mean, this comes after he gets, I guess, assaulted in the club. Also, on the heels of Rory and Maul responding to him and his appearance on The Need to Know. And is he going to talk about Savon and all of that jazz with Rory and Maul? A lot is going on. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. This is Danny from The Stop. I did not know about the stop. Okay, here's the thing is, I didn't know about the stop. 
We doing a lot of talking about the stop. Can we? No, like, I ne- just, no, 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 no. I don't no. even want to. Or just stop no, saying. No, 